What? What's the problem? Are you stupid? I told you to iron my jacket, and it's not ironed! Uh, you didn't, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. I can, I can iron it now. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm dating an idiot who can't get one task right. I, I'm sorry, okay? It's, it's okay. I, I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh. Where is my breakfast? Uh, almost ready. Almost? I have to go to work right now. Oh, so useless. Just two more minutes. You eat it yourself. I'm just gonna order Starbucks. Oh, but it's gonna take longer to order. You know what? You should be grateful you still have me. Our time together is getting closer and closer to an end if you keep this act up. <laughs> so useless. Have a good day. Hello? I'm so happy you called me, son. It's been so long since I've seen you. How's the new place? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, you should come by sometime. And Joanna? Joanna! Yeah, she's... she's great. I wish she could have come. Me too. Today's a really big day for her, actually. Mm -hmm. She's got a presentation for work, and if it all goes well, she's gonna get a promotion. Wow, that's great! Yeah, she... She's great. You know, when you called me, you sounded really down. Uh, no, no, not at all, Mom. I'm great. Everything's as good as it could be. I just called you because, uh, you know, I missed you. I missed you too. But I don't know. My mom's senses are telling me there's something. I don't know, I feel like there's something you're not telling me. No. Nah. nah, Mom, there's nothing that you don't already know. Oh, crap. Uh, Joanna just finished her presentation. I gotta go. I will catch up with you later. Bye! Um, honey, you, you left your bag! Randall! I got the promotion! I got the promotion! Yeah, of course you did! Uh, at this point, it's not even a surprise you got the promotion. So, I got you these to celebrate. What are these? Uh, flowers, you know, to celebrate your promotion. These are, um, hideous. You couldn't even bother to get me something that I like for the promotion? What? Come on, Randall. Those flowers are almost as pathetic as you are. Oh, I don't know how much more I can take of this. I'm getting sick of you. Okay, babe, how about we go to a store and then you can pick out whatever flowers you like. No! The person that I'm dating should know what I like. Oh, I have to spell everything out for you. You like you have no freaking brain. I'm leaving. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go celebrate with a coworker. <laughs> and, and what about my special plans? Nothing you do is special. Goodbye. Hey, what? B babe! What do you mean? Nothing I do is special? Is here. <clears throat> Mom? Randall, when I said I sensed that there was something going on with you, I had no idea that this is what you were going through. What are you talking about? April 3rd. Moved in with Joanna today. She called me an idiot 12 times and then locked me out of the house. Sleeping on a curb is not as bad as I thought. <laughs> okay, just give me... April 5th! Today is my two-year anniversary with Joanna. I got her a promise ring, which she immediately threw into a bush because she didn't like it. How can you be so stupid, Randall? She's the love of your life. Stop messing things up. She's going to leave you. Mom. June 12th. 
Today, Joanna told me the world would be a better place without me. Could she be right? Should I not be here anymore? There are so many entries just like this, Randall. You have to leave her. Look, this is just one big misunderstanding. Don't be in denial, son. Everything that's happened is here in this journal. Not, I, I hope there's not more than what I read here. Okay, then what should I do? Leave her. You've only been with her for two years. You didn't even know her before that, and you were doing just fine. But it's, it's complicated, Mom. It's not like she always treats me like this, and if I'm being honest, the good far outweighs the bad. Most of these entries are less than two days apart. You don't deserve this. No one does. Is she here now? I'm going to talk to her. No one messes with my son. No, no, Mom, she's not here right now. Wait, you need to go soon. I'm gonna stay here until she's back. You can't, okay? If You can't say anything to her or else I'll get in trouble. What does it matter if you're leaving her? You are leaving her, right? I, I don't know. Then I'm staying right here. Mom, you can't stay. Look, this is my relationship. And even if you do care for me as much as you do, this is a decision that I have to make on my own. So please, Mom, just do me a favor and leave. Okay. Okay, you're right. I'm not gonna force it, especially if you don't want me to. Just know that she's abusing you and manipulating you. I know you know it, even if you don't want to admit it. I'm here for you. You deserve better. You're strong, and I know you're gonna do what's right for you. anything to him and he won't do a single thing what a waste of a human <laughs> that's what you call a beta male oh <laughs> i don't know why you're not with an alpha like me <laughs> <laughs> that's what tonight's for mm. come on, come on. Oh, joanna is that you yeah no did you have fun today yeah lots but i'm going to sleep now bye uh, yeah, okay i'll be right up no, 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 no. I want the bed to myself tonight, okay? So just stay on the couch tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, why? Because it's, it's my day. I just got a promotion. Now stop bothering me, okay? Go to sleep. Okay, good night. Hello? What are you doing here? Wait, aren't you Joanna's co-worker? Yep. Okay, so what are you doing here? I stayed the night here last night because your girlfriend wanted me to clean out her pipes. <laughs> Excuse me? She wanted a real man for the night, and that's simply not you. Okay, and what does that even mean? It means whatever you want it to. I'm gonna get going. You guys really don't have anything good here. Oh, by the way, everything Joanna said about you makes sense now. Tell Joanna I'll see her at work. Joanna! Hey, Joanna, wake up! What is going on? Oh, shut up! What do you want? 
our coworker spend the night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he spent the night. So where did he sleep exactly? Because uh, I don't exactly see the air mattress anywhere. Uh, he didn't sleep in our bed, right? And so what if he did? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I, I can't believe you. No, he... Where is he? Where is that dirty man? You! You can't believe you. You slept with my girlfriend in my house? Yeah. So? Like I said, she wanted a real man for the night. You're done. You're seriously mad at me? Not like I forced anything on her. She begged me. No. No, Joanna would never. Trust me, I've seen sides of her that you probably never will. You! I knew you wouldn't. Speak of the devil, look who it is. Randall, what are you doing here? This is my office. Sorry guys, leave Randall. No, Joanna, I'm not going anywhere. We're done. I'm done with putting up with you and all of your nonsense. You see, for the last two years, you have done nothing but treat me like dirt. Put me down and make me question my own worth. You know, I always knew that we weren't meant for each other. But you brainwashed me and, and manipulated me into thinking that everything that I did was wrong. And you know, I let go. I let everything that you did go. Until now. You know, today everything finally clicked after I found out that you cheated on me with this man. You know, it's crazy that this is what it took for me to find my own self-respect, but honestly, I'm glad it happened. So, thank you, whatever your name is. Sure. You and me, Joanna, we're done. And I hope I never see either of you again. Whatever. I'm better without you anyway. Well now, we can make it official! You two, break it up! This place has a no tolerance relationship policy. Separate? Actually, you know what? You two are fired. Uh, no. no! No, 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 please don't! Uh, I just got a promotion. Yeah, and now you're gonna get demotion. Now pack your things and get out! Oh. You too, lover boy, come on. No! Ugh. I hate him! Don't make me call security. Get back to work. And that was the day I learned to never let anyone treat me with disrespect or make me feel less than I'm worth. You know, it took a shocking wake up call to realize that I deserved better and I was no longer willing to endure an unhealthy relationship. I can't believe I'm dating an idiot! So useless! No freaking brain! The experience taught me the importance of self-respect, and standing up for myself, and setting boundaries. She wanted a real man for the night, and that's simply not you. I also learned that it's essential to have a strong support system, like my mom. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. You have to leave her! Help me see the truth when I was in denial. I hope I never see either of you again. In the end, my decision to leave a toxic relationship and prioritize my own well-being it allowed me to grow and find the strength to move forward. It's a reminder that no one should tolerate mistreatment, and we all deserve to be with someone who respects and values us for who we are.